welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Dollar Tree Farmhouse Decor video for you guys. These are my favorite decor videos to make, especially as of late. And I told you guys in my last Farmhouse Decor video that I really wanted to do one that was like a straight up farm. What I meant by that was I wanted a lot of red tones in this video. With my Farmhouse Decor videos, I tend to keep with a theme for each one, so they're each slightly different than the other. This Farmhouse Decor video and the metal galvanized Farmhouse Decor video I did are probably my favorite ones. So as always, let me know, as always, let me know which DIY is your favorite. This time around, I think it's the lantern. Look at my hands, they're still red from painting. I also really like the shutters that I made using Dollar Tree products. I do want to say this, with my Dollar Tree products, I almost knocked a picture off of the wall. With my Dollar Tree videos, sometimes I get comments like, maybe you should have used wood for the shutters. The thing is, I'm trying to use mainly Dollar Tree products. I try to use as many Dollar Tree products as I can. You could get an inexpensive piece of wood and use those as shutters. You can even find shutters for an inexpensive price. But I'm using Dollar Tree products specifically, so I go into Dollar Tree and I use items you wouldn't necessarily use to make something like shutters um, for my DIYs. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 likes and I'll do another farmhouse decor DIY video for you guys. And also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not, and click that bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. I am so sorry about that noise. Anyways, with that being said, let's begin the video. Let's start with the easiest of these DIYs, these hanging mason jars. From Dollar Tree you want to pick up a picture frame and I would recommend getting the six and a half by eight and a half picture frames because they're big enough without being too big. All you got to do is put your picture frame on the wall. Now to hang my little vases I'm going to be using a command strip just because I can't put nails in my wall because I rent and then for the mason jar I picked up one of these hanging ones from Dollar Tree. If you cannot find one like this you can get a regular mason jar and then just wrap twine around it and just tie it around so that it's able to hang. So what I do is I hang that mason jar onto my command strip and then I stick it to the wall and that's it. Told you guys this was easy. You could put whatever you want inside of them. I put some fairy lights, Dollar Tree carries them with copper and silver wires and then I filled mine up with baby's breath. I think this is just so pretty. It's easy to do and super affordable. If you don't want something that looks too rustic, you can always get a different type of vase, use a different type of rope and different picture frames. There's lots of different things you can do. Moving on to the window pane, I've been wanting to do a window that looks like it could be on a barn for a very long time, and that's what I'm doing today. From Dollar Tree, you'll want to get some picture frames. I got these 8x10 picture frames, and then you'll end up removing the contents from the frame so that you can paint them. Doesn't matter what size you get, it just really matters how big you want this to be. The bigger the frames you get, the more you get, the bigger this will be. To paint my picture frames, I'm using this Rust-Oleum Satin Apple Red Spray Paint. You can always use acrylic paint to paint the picture frames. I'm just using the spray paint because it's so much quicker to do and it dries quickly. When I think of barn house windows, I think of shutters. So I had to think of a way to make shutters using Dollar Tree products. Obviously they do not carry wood and I was trying to find something big enough to go with the frames. So what I did was get one of these ribbed floor mats from Dollar Tree. They have them in gray and black. I got the lightest one just because it would take more layers of paint to block out the black color from the black mat. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a scissor and I'm cutting down the mat to make two sides that will be the shutters and I leave some extra fabric from the mat that I could cut up to make it look like there's this wooden paneling that goes through it. You could always get foam board from Dollar Tree and their wooden contact paper. I just didn't want to use the wooden contact paper because I knew there would be too much shine coming from it that it would look a little too fake for what I wanted to do. So you can do that as another option. So after I have my pieces cut out that are going to look like wood panels, I go ahead and I glue them on just using a hot glue gun. I put one diagonal through each shutter and then I take two pieces that go over that diagonal piece on the top and the bottom to kind of hide it and look more like actual barn wooden shutters. Once I have all my pieces glued down, I take white paint, just regular white acrylic paint, and I paint the mat. And I'm doing this to be a base color to what I end up painting on top of that. I'm just trying to cancel out the gray color. And once I have the white paint already on both of my mats, I go ahead and I spray paint it using one of Rust-Oleum's light brown spray paints. You can always go over this with an acrylic paint. I chose spray paint again because it dries quickly and it's just fast and easy to do. I did end up using 
using a darker brown paint because I wanted to deepen up the color. Once you've got your mats painted, you can go ahead and put the contents of your frame back inside of the frame. But I went ahead and I put mirrors instead. And these mirrors are just from Dollar Tree. I just took them out of the frame they were initially in. I wanted a mirrored look for this window. Once you have all your contents inside of your picture frames, you can then glue the picture frames together. I suggest using a heavy duty glue like super glue or E6000, something that's strong and durable. I'm just using a hot glue gun because it's quick. You could use a hot glue gun as well. It's not going to fall apart on you, but if you want to have a long use and wear of this, I would suggest using a different type of glue. To make this more sturdy, you'll want to pick up a piece of foam board from Dollar Tree. Before attaching that foam board, you first want to attach the shutters. So I went ahead and I used my hot glue gun to attach those shutters on, even though you know they're not real shutters, it's really matte. Once I've got those shutters on, I go ahead and I glue on the foam board. I make sure that pieces of foam board go on the back of the shutters just so they stay up straight and they don't kind of flap forward. Once the glue has dried, it's good to go. This time around, I didn't use a wreath that I made using Dollar Tree products. This wreath I got from Burlington Co Factory for only $7.99 and to hang it up, I'm using a command strip. I have other tutorials where I show you how to hang it up using the rope from Dollar Tree, but this time around, I'm just using a command strip. Now moving on to this barn lantern. This is a piece I'm actually recycling from another Dollar Tree farmhouse decor video where I painted it brown. Originally, I did want it to be red, but it just matched the color scheme of the other video better. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how I made the lantern initially. I used seven 4x6 frames to do this. I pulled the contents of the frame out and then painted the frames. I made sure not to throw away the border and paper the frames came with because I used them to create a bar window design. I'll link the original video down in the comments if you want to see this in more detail. I then glued the frames together, four to make a square, one on the bottom of those four that could hold all the contents that I put in my lantern, and then two on the top to make a roof and that was the gist of it. Now this time around I took that lantern and I painted it red using acrylic paints and a makeup sponge I ripped in half. The paint I used is Apple Barrel paint from Walmart, they're only 50 cents. I used one called Flag Red and then one that was called Flamenco Red. It's much easier to paint the frames first and then glue everything together, but because this was already all glued together, I had to paint it the way that I did, which was harder. Now I wanted to give this window shutters as well, so this time around I'm using these wood stationary papers that I got at Michael's. There's two of them that I'm using, one that has a lighter wood appearance and one that has a darker wood appearance. You can get these for super cheap. I think they're 79 cents original price, but then if you use like a half off coupon, Obviously, you can get it for like 30 something cents or even when they have a 60% off coupon. Sometimes they have these on sale 10 for a dollar. All I do is use a lighter wood paper to be the main base of the shutters and then I use a darker wood paper to be the panels of the shutter. To glue the paper, I just used a hot glue gun. I'm sure you guys want to know about the contents I put inside of my lantern. There was already some moss inside of the lantern for my previous project, but I decided to add a straw bale. Dollar Tree normally carries this around fall time. And then I put a little toy horse from Dollar Tree. They have a bunch of different ones, but I thought the brown one looked really good with the red from the lantern. And then I put in some fairy lights and the fairy lights are again from Dollar Tree. And I thought this was just so cute. I originally wanted this to be red like I said and I'm so happy I finally made it red. I hope you guys enjoyed this barn inspired DIY video using Dollar Tree products. Again if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and I'll do another farmhouse decor video with a different theme next time. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys again. Take care. Bye.